you know, we know an ellipse is basically like this oval shape here. And we know the distance from the center to the vertices, we call that distance A. The distance from the center to the co-vertices or the minor vertices is this narrower direction, we call that distance B. And the distance from the center to the foci, we call that distance C. Now it can be more elongated in the y direction or in the x direction, but the basic equation is like this. x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to one. So they always equal one. You're always adding. But one thing to pay attention to is that the a and the b can switch. And the main thing is, is that the a is always the larger denominator. Okay, so the larger denominators are a, the smaller one is b. And then the eccentricity is defined as c divided by a, meaning the distance from the center to the foci divided by the distance from the center to the vertices and eccentricity is always between zero and one. Remember, the closer it gets to zero, the more that the ellipse looks like a zero or a circle, and the closer that it gets to one, the more it looks kind of like the number one. It's kind of stretched out and it's narrow like that. And then we have an equation that ties all these values together, and that's c squared equals a squared minus b squared, and uh, that's the basic idea. So let's see if we can uh, jump into this problem here. If any of this seems a little bit confusing to you, I'll have links to other videos that I did talking more about some of the more beginning level type problems with uh, graphing ellipses and so on. But let's jump into this problem. The first thing I like to do is just kind of sketch it as I go along and piece the equation together also as I go along. They're giving us the foci which are at positive 2 and then it's at negative 2 plus or minus square root of 3. So what that means is that from here we're going up square root of 3 which is about 1.7 okay and down 1.3 which is about 1.7 from, from there. So the, these are your foci. Halfway between your foci, that's the center point. So you can see in this problem, the center is at two comma negative two. And this distance from the center to the focus is square root of three, that's our C value. Okay, so you're with me so far? Now, the eccentricity is equal to square root three over two, but remember, eccentricity is C divided by A. So we have a little equation here. We already figured out that C is square root of three. So that means that uh, a must be equal to 2. Okay, so this was kind of an easy one as far as, you know, they kind of gave us a C value. We just had to figure out the A value. Uh, but basically, you just have square root of 3 over 2 is equal to C over A. This was square root of 3. We're solving for A. You can see that if you cross multiply, or you can just see that these are equivalent, A is equal to 2. Now, what that means is that from the center to the vertex, that distance is 2. And then same thing here, down 2. So these are our vertices right here at 2, 0, and 2, negative 4, okay? Now the foci and the vertices are always on the longer axis, the major axis. So you can see it's gonna be you know, stretched more in this vertical or this y direction. But let's see if we can piece together what we have so far. So we've got x minus 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 1. Okay, now the reason I put this, this is the center, it's been shifted right to, notice this is the opposite, x minus h, so h is positive 2, y minus a negative 2, so k is negative 2, we're shifting down 2, and the distance again from the center to the vertex, that's a. Okay, now because I'm going up and down in the vertical direction, that a value is going to be underneath the y variable here, that's the y direction, so that's going to be 2, and remember it's 2 squared, so this is actually going to be 4. Okay, now the only thing we're left to solve for is b squared, okay, this denominator. And we're going to use this equation right here, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So let's see if we can fill in what we know here. We know that a is 2, so that's going to be 2 squared is 4. We know c is square root of 3, but square root of 3 squared is 3. So if we go to solve for b squared, we can see that b squared is equal to positive 1. So that goes right here, this is 1. Of course, if we take the square root of 1, we still get... 1, so the direction uh, in the horizontal direction, okay, to the co-vertices, that distance is going to be 1. So you can see here we've got a pretty good sketch of our ellipse. And this is the equation, this is what we were trying to solve for originally, and that wraps it up. So again, if you want to learn more about ellipses, I'll have links to other videos I did talking about some of the more basic and general ones. But uh, subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.